up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button um and i hope you like this video this is going to be your review of um queen sugar it is the season finale season five episode 10 so we had a shortened season obviously because of covid we know that we're going to get a season six and so i feel like a lot of what we were supposed to get this season, we just didn't get. We know we didn't get the, the Charlie versus Parker showdown that we were all waiting for. Um, and I just feel like a lot of stuff just kind of was, it was sort of rushed through. Um, as season finales go, I just, I didn't get it. It just didn't leave me with nothing, y'all. And I love Queen Sugar, and I can't wait for Queen Sugar to come back. Um, and I know they did the best they could with what they had, but I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. Am I tripping? Y'all tell me in the comments. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So we start this episode off with we see them taking Blue to school. Now listen, this is supposed to be like late June. Who's taking their kid to school in June? And if the, if if they were saying, oh, well, he's going for a summer program or this is a transition program, that would be one thing. But the impression we got was that he was literally starting the school year. Um, I don't know. Now, as far as I know, um, Sidwell doesn't, it's not a year-round school. Now, I, I, and I know this is a TV show, y'all, but again, if they had said they were taking him so he would have time to get used to being in D.C. and transitioning and living with his grandmother, that's fine. But they literally had that boy in school. And I don't know. It was just a lot with that. Then we see, um... Charlie talking to Aunt Vi. And she's talking to Aunt Vi about Jimmy Dean. Because she's actually talking about, can people change? Like, do you believe that people can change? And baby, Aunt Vi went all the way off. And at first I was like, oh Lord, here we go with Aunt Vi. Like, what is going on with her this season that I feel like they have made her so cantankerous? Is it the COVID? Is it menopause? Is it something that they're not speaking about? But she just seems so round this season. I don't know. But then last season, she was a little round too. I don't know. Maybe it just ain't Vi. And I love ain't Vi. But baby, she let Charlie have it. But then she came back around because she said, listen, that my ex-husband is an abusive son of a SOB. And he has no redeeming qualities. He will never change. He will never be anything than what he is. But then she brought it back around to Charlie's ex-husband. She said, but wait a minute. That ain't, that's not who your ex-husband was. Your ex-husband was Dean, what was the man's name? Your ex-husband loved you. He just made some mistakes. He let his other head think for him. And he allowed temptation to ruin a good thing. But he ain't, he ain't put his hands on you. He didn't go out of his way to make your life absolutely miserable. He honestly, honestly loves you. Davis, that's it, Davis. He honestly loves you. He just let his little head speak for his big head. And do I think that there's some redeeming quality in that? Yeah, I do. Because there was love there. There was genuine love there. And so, you know, you see Charlie just, you know, wrestling with this this whole, this situation. We see her wrestling with it. Later on, we see her talking to Micah and even though she didn't tell anybody else that she really had COVID, she ends up admitting it to Micah. And my thing is, you know good and damn well Micah was going to act a fool. And he immediately did what I would have done. You know, he immediately blamed himself. I shouldn't have left. I'm on my way home. Because that's what it would have been. And I know that's why Charlie didn't tell him in the beginning because she knew that's what he was going to do. Um, he also wasn't happy to find out Davis was the one that was taking care of his mama. You know, he was sort of like, well, well, who was there with you? Was, you know, was, um, was a Vi, was, you know, was Nova, was Ralph Angel. Like he went through the whole list and she was like, well, no, I didn't call any of them, but you know, your dad was here, baby. He wasn't trying to hear that. He was like, mm, I'm on my way home. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm on my way home. Okay. Okay. And then he did come on. I'm just, I'm just going to go down the line y'all. He came home, and um, we saw him talking to his dad. And I was waiting for him to give it to his dad, but he really didn't. I mean, he was he was a little standoffish, but not, you know, not nasty. Um, 
But the one thing that Michael did say in that conversation, he said, you know, you not telling me that you were sick made me realize that it made me understand how through you've always allowed me to make my own decisions even when you didn't agree with them because you realized there really was nothing I could do about it. Well, no, that's not true. That I, recently, but not your whole life. But anyway, I'm going to let that go. He said, but you not telling me that you were sick and making those decisions without giving me any input, I understand now the sacrifices that you made and I understand how that made you feel. Now, part of me is like, it took all that for you to understand that you deciding to go to Minneapolis in the middle of a dam in the middle of COVID was... But okay. But I felt like, again, that was one of those things that I felt like they threw that in there because Michael was such an asshole at the beginning of the, the season with the, making his decisions. And basically he kept throwing in Charlie's face, I'm grown, I don't have to do it, I'm grown, I'm grown, I'm grown. I kind of felt like that was sort of one of those, that's an example of what I'm talking about where I feel like they sort of just kind of plumped that in there and it was just kind of like, eh? So anyway, we're going to get back to Charlie and Davis later. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Nova. So Nova confronts Dean when he gets home. And he confesses it to her. He conf And this is the thing, listen, all y'all need to know about this conversation is what Nova said in the beginning. Nova said, look me in my eye and tell me you didn't have anything to do with this and I will believe you. What that tells you is that Nova even knowing who this man is and what this man did, wants to still be with him and wants to love him and wants to find a way out of this that keeps her conscience clear but allows her heart to do what her heart wants it to do. Saying, you know good and damn well that man guilty. But you said, if you look me in my eye and tell me you didn't have nothing to do with it, I'll believe you. But he doesn't deny it. To, you know, and he tells her, he, you know, he gives her the breakdown, which is bullshit. I mean, that, you know, I was the rookie. They made me do it. They had to, they said they had to see if they could trust me if I was down. And, you know, I, I only hit him a couple of times. She was like, that's all it took. You broke this boy's back and you literally have been living your life. And, and he said, I've been keeping up with him. Well, what that mean? You've been keeping up with him so to find out what? To make sure he didn't snitch? I mean, what to do what? What you been keeping up on him for? And so, you know, Nova tells him, she said, listen, I want to hurt you right now. Because, you know, she's got all of these mixed emotions and she's just trying to figure it out. But she said, I want to hurt you right now. I don't know what to do with the emotions that I have. You know, and he said, but I'm not that person anymore. Like, how long... Do I have to pay for my past mistakes? I am not that person. She is not me. I mean, he is not me. And so Nova is really struggling with figuring this all out. So we got Vi in Hollywood. And Hollywood did what, what good friends slash significant others are supposed to do. He told Vi she was wrong. He said, you need to call Ralph Angel and you need to apologize. You're wrong. And she said, but I don't think that I'm wrong. You know, I feel like what they're doing is a mistake. He said, okay, but you told that man that his daddy would be ashamed of him. She said, but I believe that to be true. He said, but did you have to say it? Like, did you have to say it? And so he told her, he said, listen, you owe him an apology and you need to apologize. And she ain't want to hear it. You know, she ain't want to hear it. But he told her, listen, that's what you need to do. No, it ain't make her happy, honey. It ain't make her happy. But um, later on, we see uh, Ava and Hollywood talking. And they're both, you know, talking about, he's talking about the opening of um, the real spot. And, you know, the Zoom meeting. And he was talking about how successful it was, how he thought he was only going to get about five or six people. But they got 47 people confirmed for the Zoom meeting. Now, this is my thing. This is how I feel about it. Why didn't we see that? We've been talking about the real spot all season long. And when he finally gets it open, why didn't we see any of that? 
You understand what I'm saying? Why didn't we see why didn't we see any of the real spot opening up? Like even if you had just showed him logging in for the Zoom and the first person clicking on and the conversation starting and then you cut away. I would have been fine with that. But I just feel like that was something we were sort of robbed of in this finale. Again, giving you an example of what I mean when I say it didn't give me all that I needed. So then we see Darla talking to Charlie. And again, Charlie is trying to get an opinion about, you know, how her feelings for Davis and, you know, if she should take him back, you know, that kind of thing. And Darla tells her, Darla says, listen, we are not the people we once were. Like me, you know, Ralph Angel and I, we'd have been, we'd have been to hell and back. You know, we'd have been all around the world and I, yeah, yeah. And she said, I would never try to give you advice on a man. <laughs> like that is just not what I would do. Because at the end of the day, you know, I'm far from anybody's expert. And that is your, you know, that you got to figure that out. You know, that's, 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 you know, she said, but I will say that, you know, trust your heart. You know, look at what me and Ralph Angel have been through, you know. But ultimately, um, you know, she told her step out on faith. You know, if you have a chance to be with somebody that loves you and cares about you, you need to step out on faith, you know. So... Charlie is sort of polling everybody and sort of checking everybody's temperature. I think I think part of the conversations are checking the family's temperature on how they would feel if she took Davis back. You know what I'm saying? Because part of it is your family, when things like this happen, divorces happen, bad breakups, infidelity and all that, your family goes through all of that with you. They know everything, especially as public as it was. They went through all of that with you. And so part of it isn't just about you deciding that you're ready. But part of it is everybody making that decision, you know. Anyway, we see that Vi has her restaurant, you know, semi-open for as open as it could be. You know, remember when restaurants started opening back up and they only could be at a certain capacity and it had to be a certain amount of people and socially distanced. But at least there is, she's open. And we see that Mr. Prosper... And some of the folks are there, they playing dominoes, they got their they got their gloves on, they got their mask on, but they are there having a good time interacting with each other. You know, life starting to get back to what we now know as our, our new normal. People wearing masks and face shields, but you know, being able to go out to eat again and, you know, spend time with their friends and stuff again. I've been I've been loving seeing a lot of Instagram and Facebook posts with people taking pictures of family members they haven't seen in a year or haven't been able to spend time with in a year. And it's, it's been really, really great to see that. And, I, you know, you saw it again. That's the one great thing about this season with Queen Sugar is that you were able to sort of relive all of that that we've been through. Now, Darla is a good wife. Darla done went to um, Aunt Vi. She know that Aunt Vi and Ralph Angel had a horrible argument and they not speaking. And she went to Aunt Vi, took her some flowers, and said, Happy reopening. And Aunt Vi said, Is Ralph Angel with you? And she was like, No, he couldn't make it. But you could tell by the way she said it that he wasn't going to make it. She said, But the flowers are from both of us. See, that's what a good wife does. You know, I know y'all going through something. And I know he wouldn't do this on his own. But I'm going to do it and I'm going to let you know this is from both of us. You know. But you could see where Aunt Vi was missing Ralph Angel. And it was awkward from that point of view. But that was a good thing, Darla. That was a good thing that you did. That's some good wife stuff right there, baby. We see Nova, you know, praying to the ancestors to give her guidance and help her figure this whole thing out and what she need to do. Um, ultimately, the conversation, in my mind, is the same conversation that she has with Dean, basically about what he did, how horrible it was, and him, you know, once again, trying to apologize and explain and you know, you know, I'm sure the ultimately trying to figure out where they stand. Like, I, I, is this it? Are you leaving me? You know, and she was like, at the end of the day, I just don't know what to do with these emotions. Like, I love you. I want to still be with you. I wish I never knew this. I wish that I could pretend like it didn't happen because I, I love you, you know. But at the end of the day, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with all of this. I don't know what to do with all these emotions. Um, we have this wonderful date night with Hollywood and Avi. Let me tell you something. I need a Hollywood in my life. I know I say this every season. Because Hollywood every season is just, I mean, even when Hollywood messed up 
and Vi put him out the house. I still love me some Hollywood, okay? Hollywood took a Vi out on a date. They went riding bikes down on the riverfront. And again, just fun. Just laughter, just fun. Cheap date. A cheap date. You know, a socially distanced date. You ain't have to be around nobody. You're riding your bike, minding your business, you know? And so it was cute. It was a moment. Then we get to the conversation with Charlie and David. So Charlie had called him to the park and at first they sitting apart from each other, you know, socially distanced. And she said, I bet you're wondering why I called you here. He said, well, I hope it's not what I think it is. And she was like, well, what do you think it is? He said, I mean, are you here to tell me something about Micah? You know, is, is the girlfriend pregnant? And <laughs> Charlie was like, no, she not pregnant. As a matter of fact, you know, they broke up, right? And he was like, well, nah, he don't really talk to me about his woman issues. Like... And we don't really have that conversation. And um, he was like, so, you know, so why am I here? And she starts to open up to him about, you know, seeing him a little differently, being reminded of who he once was last week with how sweet he was and how caring he was. And she said, I mean, is that who you really are? Or was that just because I was sick? I mean, and he said, no, that's, that's, that's who I am. He said, listen, at the end of the day, I screwed up. I know I did. You know, but I loved you. I love my family. Like he said, she said, you know, I spent my whole life building our life and protecting us against, you know, all of these outside influences and protecting us against all of the the, 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 the negativity and all the things that could happen. He said, yeah. He said, but the, she said, and it still happened to us. And he said, yeah, because the demon was already in the castle. He said, I was the problem. So you're protecting us from outside forces, but I was already in the castle. So I ruined it. He said, but at the end of the day, because I didn't love myself. And you could tell, the way he was talking tells me he'd been to therapy, right? He was being very introspective about what he did and how his actions affected and why he did what he did. You know, he was very conscious of the decisions he made and why he made those decisions. You know, she talked about, I mean, you had a whole baby. He was like, absolutely. He said, she said, well, why were you happy with these other women? He said, I was never happy with those other women. They never made me happier than you made me. You know, he said, but I didn't love myself. Therefore, I made all the wrong decisions. I made all the bad decisions. I didn't love myself, you know. And so you see, you see the wall starting to crumble a little bit, you know. Um, and he tells her point blank. He said, listen, if, if I could get another opportunity, if I could get another chance to show you the man that I am, he said, I wouldn't screw it up. He's like, but, you know, you're going to have to trust me, you know. And he kind of puts his hand out, and she stands there for a long time, but she eventually takes his hand. So, you know, again, that leaves us with the impression that they're going to, try we don't see anything more than that and i'm fine with that i'm fine with us with them leaving us with that for next season i'm absolutely fine with seeing them rebuilding that trust and building their relationship back and i'm even okay with seeing them get back together i am i think the show did a good job of leaving them apart long enough and each one of them dating other people and going through their growing pains or whatever but i'm okay with it even though he had a whole baby on her i'm okay with it i'm okay with it anyway um Last but not least, we see Nova and Dean, once again, they sitting there, and somebody is knocking at the door. And she said, are you expecting somebody? He said, yeah, I am. Child, he done called internal affairs and turned himself in. Now, here's what I don't understand. First of all, well, no, we got one more thing. But first of all, he don't even work for the police, the police force no more. So you calling internal affairs is going to do what? Probably what you did, the statute of limitations is up on it. I mean, at this point, it's going to probably be a civil case. You ain't going to jail. Like, I feel like, and don't get me wrong, okay, you turned yourself in, but you only did it because of Nova. Like, you didn't do it because your conscience got so bad and you felt like you had to do it. You only did it to try to save your relationship with Nova. Anyway, whatever. I ain't giving that a whole lot. He done got arrested. Fine. Last but not least, we see Ralph Angel and we see... Um, Darla out there talking and they talking about Blue and how much they love Blue and you know how they had to let him go and they had to let him you know go and he's so smart and he had to you know really reach reach out and, and be the best he could be 
and you know darla tells ralph angel you're such a good dad you know you you're just such a great dad she said and you're gonna be a good dad again and he kind of looks at her like what girl she pregnant i said well all right so i'm happy with what they left us with for next season but i just felt like the finale was a little lazy that's just me if i'm wrong y'all tell me tell me if i'm wrong but i think it's COVID. i'm giving a lot of my shows a lot of leeway because of COVID. because this isn't the first show that i was a little disappointed in this season but i know they were doing the best they could with what they had i get it i get it y'all i do but it will be back in the fall so we good to go we're gonna get a full season and i'm sure parker will be back and all the different great things we're gonna see next season but we never saw Aunt Vi and Ralph Angel had that conversation either. So I guess we're going to get that next season too, honey. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in those comments. Peace.